Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetsTools.com, and today we are going to do the quick unboxing and quick review of the new device which is coming to India. This is coming from this Chinese brand which is called Li TV, and we have the Li TV Li Max with us, which is launching in India tomorrow. It will be launched for affordable price as per what we have got to know. It has got great hardware specification and great build quality. Let's talk about this device overall and before we do that let's do the unboxing as you open the package the first thing which you see inside the package is the li tv li max which comes in this plastic case which is transparent on the edges and translucent at the back side it will make sure that the phone does not get any scratches or fingerprints and it will protect the surface of the phone the phone is again very strong and sturdy but it will get the scratches over time so this cover will definitely help you prevent those scratches the second thing which we see inside the package is the user manual which is very nicely designed and these user manuals comes in this small pouch the moment you open it you will see a user manual on one side on the other side you will see the sim injection tool the rest of the things which you see inside the package includes the charger this is a fast charger which comes within the package it can deliver up to 3 ampere of output current you also get a usb c cable within the package of the phone apart from this you also get a usb c to micro usb connector so that you can use a regular micro usb cable as well with the help of this connector and li tv has included the connector within the package talking about the device it has got great build quality great camera at the back it has got a 21 megapixel camera at the back which can give you very good quality of photos in low light as well as in daylight the finishing of the device is very nice it has got chamfered edges on the top you have got a 3.5 mod jack and ear blaster at the bottom you have got a loudspeaker one of the mesh is for the loudspeaker and the other one is for the prime microphone and you have got a usb c port over there for data syncing and charging on the edges if you take a look the phone is very thin and it is very slim as well in terms of weight it does feel like a big phone in hand because of the huge 6.3 inch display although the thickness of the phone is not that much and the build quality is very good top notch front top of the phone has got nice metallic earpiece which is below the glass you have got 4 megapixel ultra pixel camera and you have also got proximity and ambient light sensors the finishing over there is also pretty good at the bottom on the front we have got touch capacity buttons which do have backlit led although the device is fairly big to hold in one hand and it becomes difficult to access some of these keys when you are using the phone with one hand although this phone does support one handed operation on the software level but reaching the keys sometimes can be slightly difficult when you are using this phone with the hand let's talk about the connectivity and the buttons on the left hand side of the phone we have got a bigger volume rocker which is a metallic button and you have also got a mute key sliding this mute key will make the phone go into silent mode and similarly you do that on iphone you can do here as well you can slide the mute key and make the phone go into silent mode as far as connectivity for the sim card is concerned it supports two sim card one has to be a micro sim the other one has to be a nano sim there is no support for micro sd memory card on the right edge of the phone you have got a power button which is a metallic button you have the sim tray and you have got wireless hd supported so you can actually do a wireless 4k broadcast from this device it support that and this is one of the first device to have this feature which is launched in india the quad hd display which is pretty high in terms of the pixel density it will also deliver very good viewing angles very nice color production it does have different kind of color tones as per your preference you can set the color tones you can also test the overall visibility in sunlight we tested the visibility in sunlight and we find it to be very nice this phone is fairly visible in sunlight and one of the best visibility is there on this device as far as outdoor usage is concerned it's an ips lcd display which gives you very good viewing angles extreme viewing angles are there supported on this device and color production is one of the best i have seen on a device like this let's talk about the storage we got the 64 gb model of li max although it will also come in 128 gb storage model there is no support for micro sd memory card but the good thing is that it has good amount of storage available out of 64 gb approximately 51 gb is available to the user and it does not come pre installed with lot of plotware which is very good thing we have got android 5.0 lollipop on this device which is good as well considering the hardware which we have got on this phone when we tried taking a look over the sensor list we were amazed with the number of sensors this device has this device has almost all the sensors you would need on a smartphone like this in day to day usage you have step detector step counter significant motion detector sensor a lot of other sensors which are normally missing on other flagship devices this device has lot of sensors and actually extra number of sensors you may need in different application so in terms of sensors this device is fully loaded 
there is no sensor missing on this device which could be required for day to day usage. When we tried benchmarking the hardware we got a very good score of approximately 22,000 on quadrant and we got a good score of 59.9 fps on Ninamark which indicates that this device is very good for gaming. You can play almost any kind of high definition game on this device. We tested the Dead Trigger 2 on this device in full graphic mode and we did not experience any kind of lag, any kind of issues. The gaming experience was very smooth. The overall gameplay was very nice as well. The device does get a little warm when you play games, but the heating has been controlled very nicely on this device. Even when you play some high definition games like Dead Trigger 2, Asphalt 8 or Modern Combat 5, the device will not heat up that much. So the device temperature was well under control when we played this game for approximately 20 to 25 minutes. The device was working fine and we did not notice any kind of lag or issues while playing this game. Moving on to the camera, the camera on this device is a 21 megapixel camera at the back which has got very good color protection and very nice photo clarity. When you take photos even in indoor light and in low light as well the photos come out to be good. You have a lot of camera options, you can toggle in between different kind of camera modes. You do have support for HDR mode, you also have support to record slow motion video and you can also adjust the speed of the slow motion video in case you would like to do that. We were impressed with the rear camera performance, the photos which we clicked in low light were good in terms of details so as you can see the photos which we captured had good amount of details very nice color production and in low light when we tested them in dark environment we could see good colors again but the details were not that clear the front camera again did perform well even when it is a 4 megapixel camera it performed a good job as you can see in these photo samples the photo clarity which we got in artificial light was very good we also got good amount of details as well but as we moved to low light scenarios we could notice slight amount of noise here and there but the overall clarity of the photo was good again details were not that great but the colors were again very nicely maintained you can also adjust the color temperature of the display you can have a vivid display you can have a natural color effect or you can have a soft or Lee TV display settings depending on what you need you can actually adjust the colors and you can see how does that look like once you make the changes. We also tried connecting a USB flash drive with the help of OTG by using the adapter which comes within the package the USB-C to micro USB adapter but when we connected the flash drive this way it was not detected and we could not read the contents which were there on the flash drive from the phone although OTG seems to be supported but it does not work this way. Now before I conclude my review I would like to mention some of the pros and cons of this device. Some of the pros on this device is going to be the great display, very good cameras, you have got great hardware and software combination. The software on the phone is very nicely optimized as well. In terms of the build quality, it has got one of the best build quality you can see on a device like this. It is a unibody phone, the battery is sealed inside but you don't need to worry about the battery because the battery is pretty big at 3400 mA which can give you more than one day battery backup with normal to average usage. Again, when it comes to the con of this device, I would like to say one of the major con of the Li Max is going to be the big display size or you can say the big form factor because this phone is fairly difficult to hold in one hand. I would like to give a thumbs up to the Li Max device which is coming to India. Let's see what pricing at which it is launched. If it is launched at the right price of approximately 25,000 rupees, this can be the best phone you should go for for 25,000 rupees and we are just assuming the price. We don't know the final price. But that's it from us. Thanks for watching this video. In case you have any queries and questions, please leave your queries and questions in the comment section below. You can like this video. This video help you by clicking the like button below. You can subscribe to our YouTube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching this video. This is Abhishek signing off. Thank you.